Hmm. Is it just me, or is the moon a little bit bigger than usual? <laughs> anyway, hello everybody, and welcome to MUVR. My name is not important. However, today, uh, we are going to uh, showcase this thing. I'm not going to show you how to download it, install it, and get all the things, and especially will not be demonstrating how to get the games to function on the thing itself. That is a long-winded and extremely long process that I am not qualified to demonstrate for you, and I'm not going to waste my time trying to do it. So, um, we are, however, going to be playing a uh, Super Nintendo today. Uh, I've got one game lined up so far right now. Uh, I didn't feel like playing any, like, like a bunch of games. We're just going to play one game. Um, real quick, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a Capitalism. I'm going to drop that right there. And, of course, we can't play video games without the console itself. Uh... Yeah, right about there. Now, to turn on the TV. Boop. Cool. Now, question. Is it is volume up? Yeah, volume's up. Uh, leave it at 80. I mean, it's not like we can have we have any parents that are just going to like barge in and be like, "Hey, turn that shit down." No, no, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, however, we do have to worry about Plugging this in. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Literally, I just said it. We have to worry about plugging it in. Okay. Let's plug this bad boy into the TV. All right. And if you're worried about controllers, I do have one. You really don't have to worry about it. But for now, let's flip that on. Uh, let me turn the lights off. Uh, just so it's a lot easier for you to see the screen. And I've got my controller right here. I just need to focus on the game screen, and I should be able to work. Should be able to work. Sh I said... Should be able to work. Let's see. Ah, I see. We'll just have to do it that way then. All right, that's fine. Just put, oh, oh, hold on. Let me, uh, let me uh, actually sit properly on this chair, because that's gonna bother me. <laughs> All right, maybe now, no, okay. Maybe if I do this. Nope, still nothing. All right. Well, well, we'll configure that later. For right now, I am plugged in, right? Yes, I am. Okay, that's that button. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, sorry, I'm relearning the controls here. Okay. As you can see, getting up that lumbering fool. Donkey Kong, and you will never see him again. Ha 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 ha, Captain K. Rule. All right. Um, when I was a kid, this would be the only game that I would play until, like, until I got an N64. Like, literally, I would just repeat this game. Like, even if I would never beat it, I would just constantly be playing it. Like, over and over and over again. Because, well, really, this was, like, the game for me for, like, many years. It was the only game that I really, like, enjoyed. Um, I do want to apologize if, if I'm rocking the headset a little too much. Uh, it's just natural head movements. Uh, while I'm speaking. I never really noticed how much I really moved my head until I put on a VR headset. Oh no, damn it, damn it. Ah, uh, I lost the best movement character in the game. I need to get him back. I need to get you back, Diddy! Oi. Um. 
That's actually something to talk about. While um, Dixie Kong may be like fantastic as far as like the fact that she can hover, um, she's really just not the best movement character. I, I know everybody already knows this though, because everybody who's played this game uh, knows that Diddy Kong is the best. He's the best character. Oh, wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Damn. Okay. Ooh, Milky Way. Uh, oh, wait. I can't touch him because I'm in the game. Uh, well, I mean, I couldn't even really touch him even if I wanted to. They're not real. I mean, uh, uh, let's not break the immersion. <laughs> see, ooh, look at those stars. Is it Friday yet? Yeah. Yes. All right. Do-do-do-do. <laughs> and got it. Look at my non controller in my hands. Alright, now that I did that, um wrong button. Is it which button is it? Not that one. There it is. Okay. Alright. There we go. A uh, reason why he's the best. Oh, wow. All right. Whatever. Whatever. We'll we'll just live with that mistake. I can't. I, I can't really help but live with that mistake. I suppose. Come on. Okay. And I keep the the reason why I keep hitting that button instead is because. The controls for this controller, these, uh, the Oculus controllers, is weird. It, it's definitely not the optimal way to control a Super Nintendo controller. Uh, I mean, you can do it. It's clearly possible because I'm showing it. But it's not what I would call optimal. Um, I do have a... Super Nintendo-ish controller that I was trying to use, but it won't connect right now. I'll have to figure that out later. Eh, no, damn it. See? See what I mean? See what I mean? Eh, oh, I can't. Uh, I gotta do it uh, this way. Hit pause. Click out. And there we go. And you can drink your little, your little capitalism. And have your little Milky Way, or if you want your Snickers bar, you can have that too. Um, I'm trying to think. What can I showcase in this room? Ah! Uh, you can, uh, while I'm here, let's see. You can, well, ignore that one. I ignore, ignore that one. But you can have all different kinds of posters and knickknacks well mostly just posters uh all over your wall if you're a fan of doctor who i i put in a doctor who uh, a couple of doctor who posters actually because i'm a big 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 whovian um a little bit of iron man that's not really the ant man the iron man they're not my posters uh someone else asked for those same with the logic and the nascar i'm more of the doctor who little bit attached to the Garfield, but I'm not going to be, like, super attached to it. Um, yeah, if you're a fan of that, fantastic, beautiful. Uh, I wonder if it's too dark in here for you to see all this. Um, there you go. There's a better better showcase of everything. There's more Ant-Man and, and, and Iron Man. Um, the stars, I customized the stars so that they would be red. Normally, they would only be on the ceiling. They would only be on the ceiling, and then they would be uh, there would be nothing on the wall here. Um, but when you have the lights off, uh, they glow. You could see the clear difference between uh, when the lights are on and when they're off. You could very clearly see that they glow. Um, and if you hit this button a bunch of times, you get a little bit of a, a, a crystal ball, and and it does the thing with the with the little bits of light and all that. It's a little fantastic little thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back down there and I'm just gonna fiddle that in and flip the switch. And then I believe if I, I can't 360 no scope it, so I have to look up to be able to flip the switch down. 
And here we are. Sorry, I know I was rocking the... I was definitely rocking that thing there. Okay. Ooh. But yes, these games do, in fact, work very well. Uh, oops. I accidentally hit a space bar instead of, like, what I wanted to hit. Yeah. They do work. Uh, they work fantastic. Um, there are other consoles that you can play. In fact, let me go ahead and uh, exit off of this real quick. And let me go ahead and show you the consoles that you can potentially play on this system. Okay, so we have the Super Nintendo, which is 100% available, uh, which you already see there, uh, that we were using. Uh, and then we have the original uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. It 100% works. Uh, I've got plenty of games to play with that. Um, then there's also, if you like a more traditional uh, PAL version, Famicom, uh, we also have this available for you. If you have PAL versions of games, definitely use that. Um, and then one of the bigger ones here is the... Uh, the uh, Nintendo 64, which 100% works. I mean, it pretty much plays games the same way as any other emulator will, which means that there are certain games that will have some troubles playing. Um, graphical glitches and all that will still occur uh, as if they were still on like Project 64 or whatever uh, emulator. And I know I turned around and you saw that. This beauty right here, this absolute gargantuan butte right here, which I'm going to violate by putting it right on top of the TV. Um, and it 120,000% works. Uh, absolutely beautiful. It's great. Um, and it plays all the classics. <laughs> Uh, and the uh, emulation, uh, so to speak, is great. It, it works just about as well as any, uh, well, I mean, you see some tearing there, but, um, that's, that's not my fault. That's the emulator's fault. And it just works. And, uh, we're not going to play, we're not going to play that, but I just figured I'd put that on the background, uh, while I say thank you for coming to see, uh, MUVR. I hope to do maybe some more videos just like this. Maybe we'll play something else. Maybe I'll be more centered on a subject. Maybe I'll play very specific games instead of just throwing out my favorites. Um, who knows? If anyone has any requests for games that they want me to try out, go ahead and put that in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and amaze you with this little beauty right here. Um, it has a power button, obviously. Um... And it has the reset button right there. So if you need to hit the reset button, if, it, if it'll let me. I don't know if it'll let me. However, that works right there. You see that? You see that right there? You see? You see? Look at this again. Look, look, look. Let me hit play again. It's going to start spinning, right? And then when I hit reset, or when I hit that, it stops spinning. <laughs> and you can take it out. Look at that. It looks like a Ugh. Ugh. It's got some scratches on it. I definitely need to get that thing buffed. But yeah, places right in there. You plop it down and hit play, and it works. It's beautiful. It's great. Um, I will show you this. Uh, let me take this out. Put that there. Don't do that, by the way. Don't don't ever do. And actually, I wish there was a case for these things, but unfortunately, in VR. This is the only way that you can really have them out. Um, this is literally how I would store them when I was a kid, which I was stupid. I was stupid. Don't ever do that. Uh, but I will show you this. Okay, I'm not going to show you what game that was yet. I'm just going to let it play. All right. Now, the one problem with this is that for some reason, sometimes it doesn't like let you get past this like menu here like for some reason uh whenever you play a wii game uh it will stay on this screen for like ever 
uh, does the same thing with this screen too. Um, I'm pressing every button known to man to try to advance the screen, but it will not do it. And it is just a problem that I see uh, with this game. Maybe it's because I don't have the, the controls configured properly or something. I don't know. Couldn't really tell you what, but All right, that's enough of that. Uh, I have been your fantastic host. I don't know why I called myself fantastic. Uh, maybe a little bit of an ego boost. But thank you so much for watching. Let's go ahead and stare at the moon again. See you guys next time. Later.